First lesson, St. John chapter 15, verse 12. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Brethren, that is all. People claim there are ten commandments as if God himself is ten. Ten commandments mean ten horns. And these ten horns also signify ten kings. But this one here is only one God and king. The one Father, Spirit and Teacher. So the God present here with us is this love. The Father that is with us in this world today is love. The teacher we have now in heaven and on earth is love. The spirit that we see here is this love. If therefore we love him, we shall love everybody even as he has loved us. Whatever we do, even if we live for 500 years, except we love him, we cannot have eternal life. You are living witnesses to the fact that since man, since man's creation, only our Lord Jesus Christ was said, shall rule with his followers. And the only person who has not tasted of death is our Lord Jesus Christ. Since the Father does not die, he shall not die again either. Why would you taste of death? Why would he taste of death? This is because he loves everybody as the Father loved him. The Father himself does not die because he loves everybody and other things created by him equally. This lesson is given to you and I so that we should practice and die no more. God is love. Our Lord Jesus Christ is love. The Holy Spirit is love. The King and Teacher is love. If we abide in this love, we shall taste of death no more. Think about this. What do you lose if you love me and I love the other person and we all love ourselves? There is no fear in love. Perfect love drives away fear. This is because fear is accompanied with punishment. You are able to move about with a pistol in your pocket and carry with you some juice you are any harmful implement because you have no love. What do you shoot with a gun? What hood you cut with a knife? Is it the person God has asked you to love as he has loved you that you want to kill with these implements? Do you people not discover that you have left what God asked you to do into doing that which he advised you not to do? Some people claim it is their mother who disturbs them. This is not true. What disturbs you is lack of love and disobedience toward God's instruction and the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. You have refused his lesson it is also not your father who you claim. What haunts you is your refusal to adhere to God's instruction. If we obey this instruction and love one another, you shall love your father and mother. If you practice this injunction, you shall love your wife and husband and children. If you abide by this instruction, you shall love your neighbor your tenant, your landlord, the king, the prince, the priest, and God, you shall indeed love everybody. You have heard in the scripture that a neighbor or brother shall not teach his neighbor or brother to know God, but, all, but that all shall know him from the young to the old. 
it is now revealed unto the entire world that we are all brethren. Therefore, the work of the entire world and the angels is to love one another. The word of Christ is judgment. Love is God. Love is Christ. And love is the Holy Spirit. Wherever there is love, death does not exist there. Sickness and darkness are not attracted to that type of place. If you refuse to adhere to this instruction to love one another, you have not rejected man's instruction, but that of Christ. That was why Christ said, Whoever rejects him and his commandments shall he not judge, but his words shall judge him on the last day. My question is, what trouble or pain is there to love one another? Not to plan evil against anybody. Not to hate or curse or impute sins to him. What do you lose? You lost nothing. What do we gain? It means we have gone from death to life. Death is no longer Death no longer sees us. Sickness does not find us again. Tribulation does not find us any longer. This, therefore, means we have entered into heaven. Brethren, can you now see that you and the entire world are wasting your own time? This is the reason this kingdom is brought unto you for you to love me and I love you and the other person to love us and we love him too that is all there is in the kingdom of god know from today that if you do not love everybody it means that you do not love god and you do not comply with his instruction love is the government of the day of this new era there is other there is no other law. The covenant of this kingdom is this law. Brethren, I do not intend to take you further. The second lesson shall now be read. Second lesson, John chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Brethren, this is not the time one can deceive God. It is not the era one can deceive himself either. This is not the time one can deceive the other. He says that if you love him, you will keep his commandments. What are his commandments? This is to love one another as he loves you. But if you claim that you love God, but do not love your brother, are you not a liar? If you also claim that you love God, but do not love any other person, are you not a liar? If you say that God knows the inside of your heart, that you love him, but you do not love your child, your brother and sister, and any other person for that matter, do you not realize that you are a deceiver? If you claim that you know God, but do not obey his commandments, and do not love one another. Do you not realize that you are a deceiver? That is the reason that as a brotherhood of the cross and star member, if you misbehave outside, people around you would ask you whether that was what you were taught. If you go out and happen to quarrel with somebody or go to the police station and, and report somebody who steals your property, they will ask you the church you attend they will ask you what church you attend if you say brotherhood pastors by will say you are not a brotherhood member because they normally do not quarrel nor do they report cases to police if you take somebody to court and the judge asks you which church denomination you belong if you say brotherhood of the cross and star he will tell you 
that you are not a member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star because they do not go to court. It is said in the scripture that even if you distribute all that you have to the poor and then get yourself burned in the fire, if you do not have love, it does not profit you anything. Any person who does evil to another has no love. Any person who commits, who constitutes himself unto, into a stumbling block has no love. Any person who finds his brother in want and refuses to help him has no love. Anyone who tells lies against his brethren has no love. Any person who claims to be better than his brother has no love. All those who impute sin to others have no love. All those who claim to be more righteous than others have no love. That is the reason it is said that any person who sows seeds of discord and causes division in the church and after advising him for up to two times and he refuses to hear, do not have any dealing with him because he has no love. Let our golden text be read. Golden text, John 4, verse 21. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh, when ye shall neither in this mountain, nor yet at Jerusalem, worship the Father. It is pitiable to realize that for quite a long time now love is being preached but nobody puts it into practice from january to december of each year i continue to preach this same love there is no other gospel in this kingdom that has come down on earth today love the new millennium password Everything shall pass away, but love shall never pass away forever. Patience in itself as a virtue is a branch of love. It is also the root of love. Truth too is the root of love. Mercy is the root of love. All other virtues are the root of love. To summarize, everything is contained in love so brethren you and the entire world are called to partake in this marriage feast this love to make the dead to rise to be a crusader chorister elder and to have been to lagos or america does not profit you anything if you do not have love the first lesson has made it clear that this is my commandment that ye love one another as I love you. The challenge, therefore, that is thrown onto the entire world is contained in the statement that whoever loves him shall keep his commandment. Loving God is loving everybody. So, anybody who loves God shall love everybody. If you do not love everybody, it therefore means you do not love God. If you love a black person only, but do not love a white person, it means you do not love God. Who is a black person or a white person? God is both of them. Christ had said that in as much as you do good thing even to a very little child, you have done it to him. If you did not do it to a little child, you would equally not have done it to him. You have been taught to know that the entire world constitutes the children of God. This is not a thing. You cook food and some in your house and store in your house and refuse to give it 
to the hungry. Little children around you, but claim you are keeping it for Christ. That small child, that man or woman you have refused to give the food is our Lord Jesus Christ. You have no love. Do you not know up till now that whatever, that whenever you hate anybody, you hate God? When you love any person, it is God that you love. If you speak good about any person, it is God you are praising. If you, if you people have had this knowledge, why is hatred and enmity prevalent in your midst here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star? Do you think this love consists in coming from Lagos, Ghana, Cameroon and so on? In those days, people came from all parts of the world to Jerusalem to worship God. This thing was not pleasing to God after all because the people had no love. The entire universe has never done anything to please God because they have no love. The first and the last thing God wants is love. The last of the love of humanity from one to another. If you have if you love God, you shall be able to love one another. Do you not remember what Christ asked Peter? Do you love me more than all these things? Peter replied, Lord, you know that I love you. The Lord then asked Peter to feed his sheep. Who are the sheep? They are human beings. The Lord further said that any person who loves him should love every other person. That was the reason the work of God was widely and successfully disseminated. Whether Jew or Greek, man or woman, they regarded each other equally. That is the reason the work of God was so exciting. We are the privileged. But the privilege that we have at this last time is greater than that of the disciples. For according to the words of the Lord, we are waiting for the new heaven and the new earth where righteousness abounds. Have you not found the comforter in our midst? Do you not also see the new heaven and the new earth? The fulfillment of his promise? Brethren, this is the reason I continue to say that you do not know where you are. What do you struggle for here? This is the new heaven and the new earth wherein only love prevails and governs. A local adage says that when you see the corpse, tears shall not fail to roll down your eyes. You have now seen the corpse, but have you shed tears? Have you not seen this love preached to you? Have you not discovered this peace preached to you in your heart? Have you not also seen and felt the truth which your fathers did not see? Have you not seen patience, humility, and the rest of the good virtues complete here? Why then have you refused to have, to have them? Love is sharing. Love does no evil. It is the fulfilling of the law. Where else in the world apart from brotherhood of the cross and star do you find people of all classes share food in the same place and drink in the same glass without fighting and quarreling therefore brethren this is the reason that the entire world is called and gathered together in this school of love to teach you the lessons of christ as the foundation of this kingdom from today brethren you have come to the understanding that if you love god you will keep his commandments and love all men on earth 
you can see from Christ that he loved his father and that was why he was able to love the entire world. The father also loves himself. That is why he is able to love the entire world and everything therein. So, if we love God, we will love all things. Animals, fishes, trees, men and birds and we shall have no problem. Know therefore that if you do not love God, you cannot love others because the law states that anybody who loves God will love his brother. I do not joke with my God. Some people will claim, yet they do not waste time to beat up their children and hate their husbands or wives. Do you not see that you are a deceiver? Why do you claim that you love God, but do not love your brethren whom you see with your naked eyes? Do you not know that God judges us because of that? Brethren, a stroke of the cane is sufficient unto the wise. Let those who have ears hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.